Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can easily use You Can Book Me. After finishing this video you'll know exactly how to use it. Now if you're gonna have any questions guys regards You Can Book Me, ask me down below in the comments. So first thing first what we're gonna do is click here get start for free. Then you can sign with the Gmail, Microsoft or normal email. So I'll just copy the mail here and paste it. Then you're going to get also the email here for verification. And let's just wait for it together. Here we got it. So I'm going to copy the, the code here. Now, what's your name? I'm going to write here Marcus, which best describes you. You just select here uh, what are you actually doing if you're in education, professional business services. So I'm going to get a uh, design here, just password. No, now press continue. And let's just wait until it loads and then we are going to continue and I'm going to show you how we can use You Can Book Me. Here we're still waiting and I, I think even if I go this way here Okay, here we are. So what you can do, you have option of two things. You can connect Google Calendar or uh, Microsoft Calendar. And you have option also to choose uh, like Brooks Calendar and CloudDuff Calendar. Now I'm going to connect like Google Calendar here. Okay, I'm going to allow it. And then start creating my first uh, first booking page. Here you need to add a booking page title and then booking page link. So booking page title, let's say I'm going to do yoga. Yoga with Marcus. Booking page link, Marcus91, and then you're gonna have also the logo that you can use and upload. So then create a booking page. Okay, let's wait. Okay. Oh, it's still going. Oh, here we are. So in the moment, uh, it's already created. And look at this, yoga with Marcus. And now what we can do here, so you can view bookings, copy the link, share it, edit settings. So let's say I can go edit settings of it. And now what I can do here, let's, let's see. First thing first, the first thing on your, uh, like the page, the business page that you have with You Can Book Me, you're gonna have the booking page title link, the intro. Then on the right side, uh, you would find a preview, how it actually looks like. And we are gonna change all the dates here. You're gonna have it connected directly to your Gmail account. So that's amazing. Then you're going to find uh, the calendar and teams. You're going to have a connected Gmail account here. And you can also add a teams if you want. Now the next thing are times and availability. So let's say uh, you have option to have a uh, repeating availability or custom availability. Uh, when you're going to have the repeating availability under the time, times and availability, you're going to have option to set the hours you are available. So I can simply click here on the edit and let's go together. 
and you have option to change every single time. So let's say I'm going to work with from 7 a 730 on Monday, Tuesday, and I'm doing, going to add a Thursday and Friday at 6 p.m. And then I'm going to click done. Then if you want, you can also change uh, the Sunday and Saturday. Or as I mentioned, you can have custom availability. And you can have it changed every single week. Now, let's say that's really great if you are working, if you're going to go for vacations. Uh, when I'm going to have an ad break, I can add, let's say, between 9.30 to 12.30, one hour. And now, when we edit also the break, guys, I can go to the preview and then click here on on to see and look how it looks like, right? So uh, you're going to click save all changes. And look at this, I'm going to turn on the preview and you would find everything here, how it actually looks like. So this is pretty much how it is. Now, when you go further on the availability, you're going to find also the duration and display. So show ability in increments of one hour. Controls the length of slots you wish to display on a you're looking read. Booking duration, it's one hour. Or what you can do is that booker can choose the duration. Let's say someone wants to go for two hours or three hours, but you need to have a free trial. So I can choose that to minimum, maximum default. But as you can see, um, you need to like edit that if you want to. Now, <clears throat> when we go further, you can have the group bookings, let up to 50 people book into the same time slot. So let's say you're going to have uh, not just one to one yoga session, but multiple sessions that people can register for it. So I would like to click on it again. And uh, you need to. You can add a question, right? So maximum group size allow two, five, like let's say eight people eight bookings for each time slot and minimum booking notice. This is really important, guys. The minimum amount of notice you require for booking to be made. Please note this will also include days when you are not available for booking. Max advanced bookings, 365 days. And week starts today or Monday. Again, you choose that. Now I'm going to click save all changes. Then the next thing that we are going to do, guys, after you're going you're gonna to finish duration and display, we are going to next click appointment types. Appointment types, you can use appointment types to offer a different services on the same booking page. So that's something you can do. And this is again also the free trial. So you can have the free service here. So my service. And let's say this is going to be yoga price 100. Now what I can do, I can create a new appointment type and this is called yoga for advanced yoga. And now I can go 200. So as you can see, we're going to have two appointment types. And they can, you can also choose if you can select more than one in the same booking or you can divide them into the groups. Then when you have it, you can have also the language and time zones that you can change. And then you're going to find the booking form here. Booking form is like what they're going to actually fill out when they are going to click on the time. So you have option to add a first name, last name, email, service or service description. You can have also option to add, um, add a question and you can have like these kind of questions. If it's going to be long answer, email address, phone number, checkbox, multiple choice, he hidden question, block of text, start time, end time duration. So all of these, you have option to do that and choose them. And you can simply move them as much as you want. You can delete them. And that's pretty much it. Now I can go after booking. Thanks. You will receive a notification confirming the meeting details shortly. 
or you can redirect them to somewhere else. And then the next step is payments. So what you can do is you can actually, uh, you can take payments through Stripe. Uh, and it's all uh, the like what we did and what kind of payment we asked for um, in appointments. Then under payments, you're gonna have notifications. And these are like the actions here, right? So after new booking made, two actions. If booking scheduled, what will happen? You can again uh, like edit those if you want to. Now, if I can go deeper to notifications and how we can um, do them, but it's nothing really that difficult, only because I really recommend like leaving it as it is. And confirmation email to you after there is a new booking made. Uh, also to Booker. Then you're gonna have also the calendar events here. If you can have like events here, you can add it here. And then styles and appearance. Styles and appearance, you're gonna change the colors of your like page. Let's say I'm going for blue. And then the next, the last step is live booking page. And here, look at this, choose appointment type. I'm going for uh, advanced yoga. Now I can simply choose uh, the time here. Let's say I'm going to from 1.30. And now I'm going to choose uh, the first name, last name, email. And a question, if I, if I have a question. So this is pretty much it, how it works. And this is how we can use you book me. If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. Thank you for being here with me. And I hope you're going to have a great day. And yeah, see ya guys. Goodbye.